Hi there, this is Stephanie Treasure. Happy Monday, happy April. Welcome to a new week, new month, new quarter. I am so, so happy to be joining you or to be broadcasting on this live stream for you. This is uh, quite impromptu in terms of the time, the specific time that I'm doing this. So I didn't get a chance to announce it to my community, but it's uh, quite planned and quite, um, I'm doing this on purpose because I really want to help you to get off to the races as much as I can. I want to, want to support you towards that end. And I want to share with you some steps that you can take to make this a successful month and to make this quarter better than the one before. However, you did past quarters. So if you did fantastic, you can do even better. I, I want to share with you how you can do even better this quarter. So thank you for tuning in to this replay if you're here. And if you're here, please let me know that you are here by by doing hashtag replay in the comments box and let me know where you're logging in from and how you're feeling about this new quarter that's uh, beginning right now. I am gonna go ahead really, really quickly and grab the link from this live stream and share it to my group called the Passionate, Purposeful, and Powerful Entrepreneurs so that they can know that I'm here and they can join into this live stream as it's happening if there's folks there that have the time to tune in right now. As I said, it's quite impromptu in terms of you know getting on at this specific time, but this was definitely planned because uh, this is a way that I feel called to support my community, to you here watching who are business owners, who are passionate about what you do, who love what you do, who have dreams and goals that you've set for yourself that you are working really hard to achieve. And it's my, I feel it's my duty to help you along the way in any way that I can. If you are tuned in, if you're plugged in here to my community via my Facebook page or YouTube, if I upload this to YouTube later, or in my Facebook group, The Passionate, Purposeful, and Powerful Entrepreneurs, I wanna do my part to impart the information that I know on this topic about growing successful businesses, about marketing, about business strategy with you so that you can um, implement as much as possible. And I wanna share a resource towards the end, actually send the comments here where we can get together and have a next steps strategy session to get you off to the races in a customized way where I look at what you're doing, look at your business, what you accomplished last quarter, what you're looking to accomplish this quarter, and I'll help you map out a plan to achieve that goal or those goals that you've set for yourself. So I have some notes which I'm going to pop up here on my screen. So let me pull that up. And again, if you're watching, let me know that you're here and um, comment below, say hi, and let me know where you're logging in from as you're watching the replay. So I have some steps for you to, um, you know, to hitting your goal this month and this quarter. It's five things. I didn't number them, but it's five things. One of them has five steps in it. And, uh, you know, if you can guess, you know, before I get started, guess what those five, my step one is a specific thing that has five parts. If you know what that is, or as I start, uh, go ahead and comment below with the number five, right? To show me that you are with me on this very first step, uh, this very first key to hitting your goals this month and this quarter. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> so uh, time's up, I guess, if you're watching the replay. So number one is to set smart goals. And when I say set SMART goals, I'm referring to the acronym uh, from the word SMART, which has five letters, and so it's five steps, um, five uh, aspects or attributes of um, uh, things that you need to bear in mind to be able to set a SMART goal, right? And I have those written down here. So SMART goals, as the acronym suggests, right? I'm going to go through the letters with you. Number one is specific. You want to set a goal for yourself this month or quarter that is specific. A specific dollar amount, a specific, uh, if it's a number of clients that you want to enroll, if it's a, a program that you want to launch and fill it with a certain amount of clients, be specific about that. Don't be general. Don't say you want to make, you want to, you're hoping that you'll get, um, you launch a group program with 25 people or, you know, with, uh, a good amount of people in there, you know, be specific and say, you want to launch a group program and fill it with 25 members. 
um, if it's a, a private coaching program, how many private coaching uh, clients do you want to bring in into that specific program? Don't be general and say, oh, I have three programs. One is entry level beginners, one is uh, advanced, and I'm hoping to maybe get two in the advanced level, one in the medium, one in the low, lower, low end level. Be specific and about um, what you're trying to achieve or you know, if you need to start with a dollar figure, start with that and then say, okay, based on this dollar figure, it would make more sense for me to enroll just three clients into my high-end program in order to meet that goal as opposed to maybe five to seven clients in medium, uh, in the low-end program, the medium-level program, the high-end program, and then maybe I'll hit that number goal. Be very specific as to what you're trying to achieve and what that would look like, right? Uh, secondly, measurable. Um, and this kind of ties into what I was saying before. It has to be a, a measurable goal. So if it's a dollar figure, say it's uh, say you want to make $9,000 for the month and you have a $3,000 program, then if you were to measure it, it would make sense to bring in three people at exactly $3,000 each. And uh, to achieve that, I could speak to, let's say, um, nine people. And if one out of three closes, um, you know, I can have nine sales conversation. If one out, one out of three closes, then I'll have my three clients. But be able to measure it, be, you know, set that goal and say, okay, if this is the goal, this is how I can achieve it. This is how the plan could look. This is how you can measure it. Uh, achievable. Is it doable? Can you um, bring in three clients? Can you speak to possibly nine people that would be interested, nine interested people that maybe one out of those, uh, uh, three out of those nine would be able to sign up for my program, right? So it has to be, yes, I believe in setting stretch goals, but you don't want to set a goal that's so big that it becomes demotivating. You still want it to seem attainable if you were to do a little bit more than you've done before, but not something that is totally out of the park, right? So achievable is the next one. Relevant, um, reasonable, realistic, resource, and results-based, right? Um, does this make sense for your business? Is this something that would um, that fits in line with, with um, your overall goals for the year? Um, does it is it in line with where you are right now? Can you take three clients in your business, three new clients in your business right now? Do you have the room for them? Do you have the time, um, the resources, etc. right? So it has to make sense. And lastly, time bound, time based. And of course, we're, you know, we're under that umbrella already because I'm talking about your monthly or quarterly goals um, for this next period. So definitely you want to set it. So, or let's just, you know, stick with monthly. What do you want to achieve this month? and put a deadline to it and work within that time frame, right? So again, your SMART goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based, right? So that's number one, your number one key to hitting your goals this month and this quarter. If you are with me on number one, if you can commit to doing that, setting aside some time if you haven't done so already. I did this last month. I did this... Um, I think it was either Thursday or Friday, and I actually reviewed my goals again on Saturday because I had some time, some quiet time on Saturday. So I went over my goals, and I created a plan to achieve them. So if you haven't done so already, take the time to do number one and set your SMART goals for this month and this quarter. So if, again, if you're going to commit to doing number one, the first key to get started to making sure you, that you hit your, your goals this quarter type number one in below. And if you're watching the replay, type number one, hashtag, re hashtag replay, all right? Uh, so the second key to hitting your goals this month or this quarter is to create a plan to achieve them. Create a plan to achieve your goal. Even if you feel like you don't know what that plan is or what it can look like, or if you feel like you've 
made plans before and you haven't achieved your goal, you still need to be working on some kind of premise, with some kind of plan, with some kind of a structure in order to achieve your goals. So create a plan with what you know, with what you have, what you can do, lay out some steps, really have a brainstorming session with yourself and you know, just brain dump everything that you can think of with what you know on how you can achieve your SMART goals. And then from that brain dump, select the things that make sense, that are doable, uh, that you haven't done before or you did before, but you, you maybe you didn't really execute all the way through and you could possibly implement that again, give it some more time to work and execute that plan. But you have to be working with some kind of a plan, some kind of a structure um, um, even if that's going to change, which is going to be my step number three. But create a plan to achieve them. You have to have a plan, right? Make a plan, Dan. <laughs> okay, number three. And if you are with me on number two, type number two in the comments field below. Number two, hashtag replay if you're watching me here on the replay. But you have to be working from some kind of plan. Do a brainstorm or a brain dump of everything under the sun that can help you, that you can think of, that you know, that can help you to achieve your goals, and then pull from that um, a workable, doable plan that can help you to achieve those, that can take you, you know, put you on track to achieving your goal. Number three, stay focused, but be open to new ideas. So here's where just, you know, yes, you have a plan in place and you're working from some kind of a structure, but you're open to the fact that maybe if you were to incorporate this other thing, that that would enhance your plan or um, yeah, on enhance your plan and make it work even better. Be very careful here. And this is why I said that number three is stay focused, but be open to new ideas. So you want to be focused. You don't want to fall into the trap of the shiny object syndrome where you're following everybody's launches and their posts and their videos and their webinars and you're you're um, looking at what everybody's everybody else is doing and um, getting distracted from your plan and your structure to the point where you're doing a little bit of this doing a little bit of that of everybody else's thing neglecting your main focus neglecting what you know can work but you need to give it time to work and then nothing gets done and you don't achieve your goal so you want to stay focused but if there's a new idea see how you can incorporate it into your plan but still stick to your plan right and then um you know again you really want to the emphasis here is on staying focused so that you don't uh water down your efforts um, keep looking at everybody else and what they're doing, watching everybody else's launches. And then before you know it, the month is done, the quarter is done, and you haven't really executed much. You've just been in training mode and watching watching mode and observing mode and distraction mode, and you haven't gotten anything done, and you haven't achieved anything that's worthwhile towards accomplishing your goal. Okay? So that was number three, stay focused but be open to new ideas. If you're with me on that and you understand what I mean, comment below with the number three, okay? Uh, number four, ready for number four? Execute, right? You have to be in action. It's one thing, you know, I am a list maker. I love to make lists. But the thing about lists is that once you make the list, you have to do the things on the list. And sometimes that's where most of us, that's where some of us fall short. The doing, the starting, the implementing, the implementation, executing, right? You still have to get to work, put this, um, um, give legs, give feet to the plans that you've put in place and be, be very structured with your time to get those things done. Put them on your calendar. Use Google Calendar or whatever works for you, a, a physical written calendar. But make sure you know what you're doing every day of the week and which days you're gonna work, what hours you're gonna work, um, within what time frames you're gonna do your meaningful work, your creative work, your research, um, talking to people, um, talking to potential clients. Map out 
windows of time in your calendar for where for when all these different things will happen and make sure you stay in implementation mode in action mode you have to take action right execute so that's that was number four execute or take action um, or implement that was number four number five is to reaffirm and recommit to your goals daily and weekly now as we get into our days usually if you have a powerful morning routine which i feel like i do have a powerful morning routine you get fired up you're you 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 know you you're ready to you know seize the day take it by the hand and rule it and do what you need to do um to to work towards your success in your business and even in your life and then you get on social media and you get distracted or you get discouraged or you um you know, you, you let your, you know, somehow outside influences, you know, something happens with your car, something happens in your personal life, and it, you know, it can derail you, it can demotivate you, it can distract you, it can let you get off track. And these, that's, that's just life, whether it's, you know, something that you saw on social media that brought you down or something in real life that brought you down. Life happens. But the key is to stay focused and stay committed to your goals. So you want to um, possibly incorporate into your morning routine or maybe check in at a, you know, various points of the day, um, set reminders on your phone that reminds you that, yes, you're working towards this goal for this month. Stay on track, stay focused, you can do this. Right, so some kind of a send a text to yourself or a reminder to yourself um, with a one or two liner pep talk or affirmation that will remind you why you're doing this. You know, plug into your why, plug into the reason why this has to work, plug into the reason why you're gonna bring your A game to this goal and make sure that you achieve it or at least come very close towards achieving it. Um, recommit to do that recommitting to your goal if it means to write them down every day or stick a post-it on your um on your laptop or uh, put a sign or a vision board in your workspace that you can see every day that will keep you in tune to what your goal is why it's important and that you are focused on working towards it this month come what may no matter what happens no matter what happens in your personal life, no matter what happens in your business, no matter how many setbacks you get or um, come across along the way, make sure that you find a way to stay committed and reaffirm your goals every day and every week. You know, possibly on a Sunday evening before you start your week, do some kind of a meditation or a vis visualization exercise. Take some time in, uh, in, in the quiet or with a guided meditation that you find on an app and just recommit to what your goal is for this month and why you're committed to working and to staying focus, focused um, towards achieving that goal, right? So that's my five keys for you to hit your goals this month and this quarter. Number one is to set SMART goals. Number two is to create a plan to achieve them. Number three is to stay focused but open to new ideas. Number four is to execute or implement or take action and make sure you stay in action. And by the way, action is a way of combating fear. When you're inactive and you're not doing something meaningful towards achieving your goal, that's when fear seeps in. And when fear seeps in, we get discouraged, demotivated, and we don't um, work towards a goal. Even if we're on the right track, our own mind plays tricks on us and keeps us from executing, and then we never get to see the results of what our, brill our brilliant plan would have yielded, right? So stay in action. That was number four. Number five is to reaffirm and recommit to your goals daily and weekly. So if these five steps resonated with you in any way, 
go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Let me know the light bulb moments that came up for you. Let me know some things that you're going to commit to, uh, one or preferably all of them. Um, and if you feel like sharing, let me know what your goals are for this month or for this quarter. Now here I want to share with you your very next step, right? I am hosting some Next Steps strategy sessions this week with 10 women where I'm going to support you on creating a plan that you can execute this month to achieve your goals. We're going to look at um, what, what you did last quarter, year to date, that worked or didn't work in your business. We're gonna look at what you're trying to achieve this month, and I'm gonna help you to map out a plan to achieve what your, um, your next level goal or vision is for this month, right? Um, go ahead and send me an email to info at stephanietreasure.com and let me know what your next level goal is and I'll get back to you with a link to my calendar so that we can set up some time this week for your 30-minute Next Steps strategy sessions, right? Because that's the other thing too. Sometimes we have these grandiose goals, but we don't know where to start. What's our next step? How can we really do, you know, get off to the races towards achieving our goals? I gave you some strategy here in this live stream, but again, if you want to get a customized look at what you're working on, let's talk in a 30-minute Next Steps strategy session this week, right? I have eight spots open uh, as we speak, and I'd love to be able to speak with you in one of those spots this week and help you map out your successful month or quarter for 2018. Send me an email, info at stephanietreasure.com to get started now. See you soon. Bye.